process is such a big and often scary word for me um, um, as an artist and as an artist who makes a lot of things. Depending on the kind of project I'm working on, I can do any number of things or I can enter in um, wearing any number of hats, right? It could be the choreographer hat, it could be the director hat, it could be the playwright hat. My process for Mimi and Rita's Magic Hat Bower is sort of like this. I have um, two other collaborators. Their names are Marissa and Cindy. And then we also are working closely with a dramaturg whose name is Max. We are doing a lot of watching of children's programming and reading of, of um, nostalgic uh, children's books from, from our own childhoods. Um, just sort of books that we loved growing up to sort of bring us back to that feeling. Something that I like to do as a creator and as an artist when I'm working with collaborators who are right here is check in. There's so much work to be done, but it feels really important to me to be able to check in with folks to see how they're doing as humans before we turn over into work. You go out the door, I see like some earbuds on the table and folks don't belong there. And then I have to move them. Even though I'm no, I yeah. might, you know. I might be late because we've just been in, in our own tiny kind of spaces for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Our myopic view of our worlds is like, this is obviously just as important as getting to this place on time, is moving these earbuds. Right. right. Because yeah. I'm like, this is all I see all day. It's my workspace. Yes. It's my workspace, like, it's my play space, space, it's my rest space. Yeah. yeah. I think that I am, I am made better by my collaborators. I am made better in collaboration because my idea can shift um, or turn into something else based on an idea from someone I'm working with. We are making a project that is called Mimi and Rita's Magic Half Hour, and the project celebrates play. So I'm going to teach everyone a game, and we're going to play together. Hey, you all. So we're going down, down, up, up. Of course, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like this. I'll do my gesture, and then I'll do someone else's gesture. And if I do your gesture, you do your own, and then pass it to someone else. Yeah. So I would do elephant, bird. <laughs> So the goal with this project, with Mimi and Rita's Magic Half Hour, and with um, all of my work for children, is to center and uplift and remind folks of the importance of play, um, of how learning is possible through play, and of how freeing um, and liberating play is. Gameplay is exhausting and works up an appetite, so now we're going to make a snack. We're going to make trail mix. And each of us has a different ingredient. I just want to say, this is not a nut-free trail mix or a gluten-free trail mix. So if you're watching and you'd like to make a trail mix too, you might have to swap out some ingredients. Pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> Cherries. Sea salt roasted whole cashews. M&M Mints. Always in a creative process where I am the leader, I carry a snack bag into rehearsal, um, and the snacks are as much for my collaborators as they are for me. It's done, now you just eat it if you can stop dancing. <laughs> I think I rely on my ability to tell stories through dance or through writing or through comedy to create enough like iterations of play that everyone all over can have access to play, can have access to relaxing and feeling like they are free to be themselves. It's gonna take a lot of work, <laughs> but I'm committed to it and I am experiencing a lot of joy in the making and the process of um, accessing that goal.